Jason, aka Daddy's Fast Cash, president of all kinds of suspicious websites like Wholesaler Clearinghouse, Shun 22 under 22.com, and this is probably would have been if it was up, this would have been one of them. And uh, Daddy's Fast Cash for Homes, Daddy's Fast Cash, and whatever else I feel like making. How about that? We're standing out here, 17 South Redfield. Um, this is actually a pretty little, decent little neighborhood. Um, I'm going to show it to you first that way. There's a school down there in the corner. Um, this is very close to public transportation. How close? You see that right there? That is the, the L that, that uh, takes you pretty much one of the main lines in the city. Um, right there where the stop sign is, if you may turn that corner, that's uh, uh, just been finished. A lot of the stores out there, they've been on construction for a while, and now the businesses, at least for these few stretches of blocks, are doing good now. So, let me show you the neighborhood. We got some Bible verses going on there, so you know it's a nice block. <laughs> Maybe. At least it's not John 3.16. Oh, there you go. Look, there's another one. Nice. So, if you're the religious type, say, you're moving into the right spot. Now, that's a rehab. But that one next door to this one looks like it's becoming a rehab because the windows look new uh, and it's locked up there so somebody's working on it um, some of these houses are a little bit beat up but dude you cannot beat the price of this house right here and what is the price I think it's 23k or 20 22k uh, I'll be nice and give it to you for 22k how about that anyway we're about to go inside this is a fire damaged property so that's why the boards and all that but um again 22k uh, you can rent in this neighborhood all day for probably 700 but I'm going to see how many bedrooms before I say that. Alright, going inside. Outside looks good. I haven't been able to do it yet, so we'll see. Okay, we're inside, and I'm going to have to narrate this a little bit. What I found, and this guy in the corner told me, so he confirmed it, is that this place is fire damaged. However, some of you know I'm a firefighter. Anyway, I've... <laughs> This fire damage is very minimal. The only thing is, it's very hard for me to be able to tell you that. I have some pictures, but since there's no lights in here and all the windows are boarded up, you're just going to have to go by that. But literally, one corner of one bedroom has some fire damage. I don't even think they knocked out the walls. It might have been a trash can or something. It's not burned through the floor. The roof hasn't been opened up. Basically, the most damage is a little fire damage in the corner, which is nothing to fix. I mean, I don't even think there's holes in the wall. Um, and all the windows and that's it uh, this place is in really good shape for the price uh, this is the living room um, this is the dining room and it's probably going to be about all I can show you without you know because there's no light but I'm going to try to put pictures on here so that you can see that part um, the pictures should lay out uh, and I'll, I guess I'll narrate it a little bit of uh, what, what's going on uh, that's the steps going upstairs, but this camera kind of sucks, so, you know, I'll get a better one very shortly. Actually, I'm going to buy one soon, so. That's a hole in the ceiling um, under the bathroom. Now, in my opinion, right now, before I dip into another dark area, is um, the kitchen looks okay. You can probably, I mean, actually, it's probably fine. You just got to get the stuff out of there, but the, the, the cabinets from the picture, and you'll see. Um, the bathroom upstairs, probably that's the rehab. The bathroom, the back corner with, with the fire damage, paint, carpet, uh, all the windows, uh, probably that door, the roof looked fine, I don't know, I didn't get back there, and I can't get to the back or the basement. But this was recently lived in, so everything should be fine other than there's no electricity. Come with your flashlight and um, your checkbook. So I'm going to try to go through the back right here. The kitchen, there's no light. But um, like I said, I'm going to stick a picture in there. Um, maybe see if the little light can adjust, but probably not. Obviously not. This is a cluttered up back room and a little tiny backyard which could use a cleaning I can't get to the back of the house to check that but this is a shed and this is the brick so this is just a little add-on right here and then um, again I'm gonna go to the front and I'll just 
mentally walk you through the rooms to the sound of some music. Just kidding. Um, I don't have any of that, so you can look at me. Mm. Okay, again, the bedroom above me is fine. So that picture you'll see, it's pretty big. It's actually a big three bedroom. Uh, it's kind of a deceiving. Uh, right over that way, there's a second nice sized bedroom. And right above that hole is the bathroom, which you're going to have to rehab. So, you know, figure in three. It's just a cloth with tub and, you know, broken window and paint and the little stuff. And then finally, um, right back above that wall, which is the whole bat bad room around above that kitchen, a nice size. I've included some pictures. Take a second to look at them. And, you know, the windows in there, paint, and the flooring. Otherwise, I would put this rehab at, realistically, it, it shouldn't be more than 10. I mean, unless something I can't see. But 10, you know, kitchen, now you don't have to do the kitchen. Uh, bathroom, three, all the windows, uh, you know, whatever that's going to be like. It depends on what you want to put into them. But if you say 220 times... One, two, I don't know, estimate 1500 to 2000 on windows, paint carpet, uh, the little things, clean out the yard and get uh, you know rid of this stuff when the family doesn't want it. And then you can even get this guy to help you with the clean out. Uh, you know what? Well, let's see what's up with this guy. I'm going to do my show. So me and your man. Okay, so note to self. Before attempting a humorous repartee with a stuffed figure, make sure you check your battery so it doesn't cut out in the middle. So I took a second to move us to a better location. As you can see, uh, me and my new friend here, we were talking about the house, and he informed me that yes, he was available for the cleanup uh, at a very reasonable price. Basically, all he would be asking for is a, a new place to stay. However, that would have to be negotiated between you, him, and his... I don't know, his handlers, let's just say. So anyway, uh, Jason, Daddy Fast Cash, uh, taking care of you as always. You're si I'm sitting in a, a really nice $22,000 house, which I can't believe is like that little of a fix-up. You can get a good rent around here. Um, pretty much a, a rehabber's uh, landlord's dream, again, if you're not too picky. Uh, and I don't, know, I don't know what else to say, but uh, it's cold. And I need to go and do some more of these videos. So I will see you when I see you. Take it easy. Have a good day. And uh, Herbert says uh, hello and goodbye. Right. Thought I was done, but I figured I'd come back in this uh, dangerous alleyway, braving what I doing what I do, braving the dangers for you guys. So uh, this is the back of Redfield, and yeah, there's a little bit of a mess here. But I wanted to show you that the back right there looks pretty good. It's sloping stuff, but not bad see it along the top of the board. The barge board is a capping. looks okay. A little old maybe in that corner. Uh, these are the windows in the back. The bricks don't look too bad. And you know, some of these little yard defenses up. You just gotta, I think, fix, put a door. So, just wanted to show you that. I thought I was done with it, with the video. You know, after I hung out with my man inside, I uh, thought that was it. But uh, here you go. Here's the back. Bonus. Jason, Daddy's Fast Cash. I was thinking of you guys.